Horton, 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 don't burn the sled. It's gonna be worth a fortune in 16 years. Think antique roadshow man. Antique roadshow. After decades of watching a decline in the moral fiber of the United States Armed Forces, a top secret Pentagon plan gets underway. Captain Doug Farton, mastermind behind Project Manhole, arrives for another day at work. You swallowed that worm. The Enola Gay, basher, the bomb carrying plane, makes its initial run. Gaydar. A special radar tracks 30,000 card carrying homosexuals lured to ground zero by the promise of a free Babs Streisand concert. Thank you. This will be my very last concert. Southern politicians arrive to help celebrate their victory over the scourge of New Age relativism. As members of the press corps protect their eyes from the sight of the gay sex act, the sound of female-on-female -female cohabitation is recorded by highly classified spy satellites. Detonation line is 70 seconds. Twenty miles away, in the small community of Inbred, Texas, People go about their business, oblivious to the momentous event about to take place in their own backyard. <laughs> the U.S. Air Force does its part to help restore traditional American values, like ignorance, insensitivity, and irrational behavior. Under the direction of George W. Bush, the heroic Pan Flute Brigade of the Texas National Guard plays a haunting rendition of our national anthem. Detonation minus 50 seconds. The Enola Gay Basher nears the target. Tension mounts as members of the flight crew put in their lunch order. The bombardier uses a high-powered camera to check on his wife. Back at the base. Oh, no! Boy, now he's really mad. Ground Zero, dead ahead. Bombay doors open. After too many sinful years, the U.S. military's policy of don't ask, don't tell has finally come to an end. Detonation minus 10 seconds. Eight, seven, six, two, seven, four, nine, four. And the reclamation of American morality has begun. Chucky, I'm a compassionate guy, but we have to put the military and the nation first. It's a proven medical fact that if we fraternize with these people, we could all end up roaming the art museums and bookstores in tight leather pants and red designer underwear, reaching down to the lowest depth of intellectual depravity and debauchery. It just makes me sick to my stomach. Hey, you know what makes me sick? Fartings when my girl's got the crabs. Yeah, my girl's got crabs, too. And I hate it when my screenplay gets rejected because some dozy prat doesn't think there's enough character development. You blockers! That's right. My screenplay got rejected too. You farting! You want to stop breaking wind in the cockpit area? It wasn't me. It's not funny, farting. Flatulence can kill. It's a well-known fact among aviators that the last meal on the Hindenburg was franks and beans. Just take her in close, Johnny. I want to get some pictures for my friends at the Bob Jones University Glee Club. Huh? This is Dr. Farton. 
Where's that music coming from? Oh, oh my gosh, look down there. They're still kicking. They're ballroom dancing. What happened? Dr. Fountain, this is Control. We just got word that the bomb missed its target and landed on the north side of Inbred, Texas. What? <laughs> hey, Dr. Fountain, the plaintiff's boss could have a field day with that one, eh? Impossible. I programmed the bomb myself. Something very strange is happening here. Hey, googly moogly, what's that shining down there, down there? Billy, isn't that where we had dinner last night? Don't sweat it, boys. Your ground ought to stop you. My balls are coming out of my ears! Hello, Roadkill Diner? Yeah, hey, let me get a murder burger. Everything on it. Mayday, mayday. Keep an eye out for Dr. Farton's plane. He's wearing a hat. W, you bring that jet back down here right now. You don't know how to fly. You're drunk as a skunk. President Cheney says up here, I'm subliminable. I feel invincible. <laughs> Cheney's vice president, you putz. You're president. Control, this is Tar Baby 3. I've spotted the wreckage of Dr. Fartin's plane. Hey, that's a racial slur, you know, Tar Baby. Let me check. Hey, hello, Inbred Library. Hello, Inbred Library. Lucy speaking. Hi, hey there, Lucy. Could you please tell me the origin of the word Tar Baby? Oh, uh, yes. Hold on, please. Um, uh, I have it here. Tar Baby is a racial slur that was originated on the Ashcroft Slave Plantation uh, close to Hagen Chad, Florida. Uh, whatever a Chad may be. But um, the Air Force agreed to stop using it after the Gulf War distraction. <laughs> so please don't use the phrase Tar Baby. It's very offensive. Yeah, Roger, 10 4 and all that kind of stuff. Jew Boy 3, Jew Boy 3, you're clearing the promised land. Oil by. <laughs> I smell a lip balm in the morning. I love the smell of fine Corinthian leather. Colonel Butts, Chief Mussolino on the line. Hello, Colonel Butts. Yeah, General. How you doing? This is Chief Mussolino over at the uh, Inred Police Department. Man, that phone's been ringing off the hook about an explosion. They got some hot out there, let me tell you what. I'm actually feeling a draft in here. You say it's all good, huh? My entire northwest side of the inbred's gone. I got a hole the size of Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan, where the, the high school used to be. You know what that means? That means no more high school girls. Now, you boys don't know what's going on, do you? I'm afraid I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, really? Yes, that's correct. Well, Mrs. Farton. It's Fartine. It's French. Whatever. Our search planes found the wreckage of your husband's jet, Mrs. Farton. Let's just say you could blow me now and it wouldn't be adultery. <sighs> Duck can't die now. It's too early in the movie. I mean, why can't they find him? I honestly don't know, Mrs. Farton, but I do know I like the way your breasts standard attention. <laughs> Not as erect as your little soldier, Colonel. <laughs> oh, no, although I am glad to see you. That is a banana in my pants. We're out of toilet paper. Flirt. Ellen. Your husband was a true patriot, Mrs. Farton. He had a great vision for America, and he died trying to fill it, uh, fulfill it. If there's anything I can do, please. Colonel Butts, do you have any dope? Well, your husband had my stash. Oh. It all went up in the explosion. All the tie sticks, black gandy hash, the cocaine that we traded the guns to the Medellin cartel for. Oh. This last one's mine. <laughs> What's happening? Why are you doing this to me? I never saw my primary care doctor. My HMO will never cover this operation. Huh? Step 
forward. Dr. Farton, I see you are quite gay now. You have recovered from your sex change operation. I'm not gay. I'm not gay. I'm not gay. Dr. Fawton, are you all right? Yes, yes, I'm fabulous. It's Dr. Fawton. Oh. Call the base hospital. He's alive. Come with me. All right, you could open the wide. Uh. Open a little wider. Oh, I'm a sugar. Yeah. <laughs> all right, take your feet out the stirrups. Next time, try that jelly. Everything seems all right. Except you can't recall anything and you're queer like a football bat, oi? Hmm. I remember the controls froze, there was some cheap special effects, and then I saw the main gate of the base. Your plane was completely demolished, its pilot burned to death, and you show up sounding like a lead in a Paul Rednick play. Fabulous. Major, the result of Dr. Barton's blood test? Delicious. Boy, you're gonna have to stop drinking the specimens. Noise bend over. I'm sorry. It all started when I was working at the fertility clinic. Because I tell you, Dr. Farton, I can't get good help in this town. Not what you told me under your desk this morning. What's wrong? Am I not? Look at me. Look at me. Now you don't remember where you got this. Doctor, tell me, were you ever a big fan of the, like, the Levin and Shirley show or something? Maybe? No, my favorite show is biography. I think this here is the... It's like an international sign for being gay. What's happening to me, Doctor? If you ask me, the man is queer like a $3 bill. I'm afraid, Dr. Farton, those bend over might be right. Colonel Butts? Ace is my good man. All right. I see the FBI doesn't waste much time. Oh, well, sure we do. I sat in my car for like an hour eating donuts. <laughs> I take it you know our base surgeon, Major Problemo. Oh, yeah, from Waco. Yes, I remember how you ignited the methane tanks. They blew the place up. It's very nice. Oh, no, that was Johnson from ATF. I just showed him where they was at. Be comfortable, gentlemen. <laughs> That's Dr. Ziggy Freud, the town of inbred psychiatrist and recovering helium addict. I asked him to join us. Yes, but you must understand that all of the men in this town have an issue with their mother, who's oftentimes the, the sister and always the first cousin. Excuse me, just for one second, I want to scorch more. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, good time. I can't believe this stuff is so fucking crap. Mary Jane, boys? Mary Jane? Oh, SG-13. I understand you've already spoken with Dr. Farton. I just left him. Oh, that's good. You know, Colonel, the man's acting very strange. I swear. I swear. Now, the other day, he was on up my butthole. Yes, and he hummed show tunes. Now, I can't believe Dr. Farton would, would be gay. I mean, after all, Operation Manhole's his idea, wasn't it? Well, he could be what they call latent. Yes, I once saw him ordering broccoli at the Roadkill Diner. So it's, it's awful, the thing that I saw him doing. Hey, wait, God, all a minute. This man's a friend of mine. I've taken showers with him. I mean, I've been in charity. I mean, I'm in a locker room. The shock of the crash must have caused a mental disruption. I believe his mind might be feeling a terrible guilt for causing the death of so many innocent people yesterday. This is funny. The doctor never felt guilt for anything ever. Anyway, you ever stop to think there might be a way to actually find out? What are you talking about? What are we talking here? We maybe a, a couple of minutes in the Iron Maiden? Perhaps, yes, we could. Was a rack. The stocks, yes, eh? Ah, if you could make him listen to an entire side of Connie Francis, the Las Vegas years. Hmm? All proven techniques. But I have some a little bit different in mind. 
You must mean it's time for the nurse. Okay, bend over, dear. <laughs> Using state-of-the-art forensics, career-ending blackmail, and illegal wiretaps and bugs, the FBI goes to work to solve this strangest of all mysteries. Why has this man, full of machismo, who slept with more women than the 88 L.A. Lakers, suddenly lost interest in the opposite sex? The answer is just a phone call away. Yeah, big prigs. But sperm found. Two orifices. Always his own orifices. Yeah, it looks like we got us a contortionist here. Yeah, give me Colonel Butts at the base, please. They ain't gonna believe this. Yes, Mr. Priggs. <laughs> uh, any news yet on Dr. Farden's anal probe? I just heard from the lab and the bad news. Nurse Bend over ate the specimen, okay? Good news is that Liberace's test came up positive. Here's what I suggest we do. We gonna send some skinheads over, and she gonna pick her up. Doug Gay? Oh, don't be silly, gentlemen. He liked it when I sat on his face and wiggled. And he loved it when my sister would join us. <laughs> Mrs. Farton, your husband's gone through a horrible ordeal. There's no telling what kind of effects this may have had on his inward composition. Are you trying to tell me that the crash turned Doug into a homo? Oi, no, 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 it's just, we think he may be suffering from a guilt complex, maybe for destroying, you know, in Red Texas. Uh, it's uh, perfectly normal, called the Copenhagen complex. It's not true. No one will believe you. Oh, really? Uh, you ever wonder who started that rumor with the actor and the gerbils? I uh? thought that was because they both started with the letters G-E-R. The next final Streisand concert is next Friday. If your husband doesn't straighten out by then, you, you know. Oh, God, please. I can help him, please. Well, I'm hoping that you can. His only chance is if you can take him home and make a man out of him again. If you know what I mean. You know what I mean. I think you know what I mean. I understand. Now we'll just have to do all those kinky things that refused to do on our honeymoon. <laughs> yes, yes. Now, if you would, please lift up your dress and show me undies. Oh, boy, this is going to be better than tail hook. Boy, look at that. Did I got knockers just standing. Oh, very nice. Now the other, she does a schmear on the other side. Oh, I can't Hey, can. have her do a can-can. Well, that's very good, but monitor his reactions carefully, Mrs. Farton. If he starts wearing your panties, I thought you should get out the house immediately and call me. You understand, you know. But is there anything he shouldn't be allowed to do? No. Except... we got to hide the Ricky Martin photos. My doggy style and the Bangkok Super Bounce are okay? Sure. Well... And I bet the colonel can recommend some good sites on the net. They got farm animals, you know. You understand, you know. Sure can. I own two of them. Chief! Hello. Chief, there's a weird glow! Where's it coming from? It's on the Sodom Flats rocks out there. I thought a rock said Sodom Flats. I'm gonna get me out there right now. Sure, hair is on. You gonna take me in the car with you? Wait a second now. Hold on. Let's Ooh. do it. Suey. Hey, come here. Suey. <laughs> What's the matter? Oh, I can't sleep. Do you want more sex? It's after three. Why can't I get it up for her? I'll get the sex pill that works for Bob Dole. Tell me I've got better things to do. Don't tell me I should be like you. Try singing into his mic, I can get a little seven up. Homosexuals Anonymous? Ellen wasn't once enough. Not even close. Please help me. I'm having homosexual thoughts. 
Oh, hi, Dr. Farton. Have you tried driving a tow truck? Yes, and it doesn't work. Nothing does. It's just... The urges keep getting stronger. Oh, boy, I'd keep this to yourself until you go crazy. Unless you want to be atomized. If that's your best advice, bah. I've got to go down on a man right away. Ellen, don't you agree with me? I've been trying to deny these powerful urges, and suddenly they're all coming to a head. Well, aren't you going to say anything? Homo. Oh, Look, I know you're ready for more sex, and I should be there. Can't you be? Why don't I play the nurse and you play the patient? I don't want to play the patient. I want to play the nurse. Doug, why are you acting this way? You used to want to do it four times a night. I'm sorry, Ellen. Look, Doug. Look, Doug. When I get through licking every inch of your hairless body with my hot, gooey tongue... Eight-letter word for argo. Time to get laid. Oh, go away. All right, stay in bed. I'll go find a man to love. What'd you say? I said I dreamt of Navy SEALs. Stop it. Mm. Mm, you were so good last night. Ah. I made believe you were Teddy Kennedy. Oh, God, it's starting again. What's wrong with me? Dr. Farin! <laughs> Dr. Farin! They're canceling your subscription to Security Clearance Magazine! Run back to the base and get the secrets! Steal the secrets! I don't care how I sound. You had no right to smoke my fabulous reefer without me. And you, Flirt, you didn't pay for the last ounce. Why? Well, it sucked. Suck nonsense. I grew it myself. Jeepers, you take my dope, you pull my security clearance, and now you won't even let me continue my work. This isn't fabulous. I'm sorry, Doug, but in your current condition, you can hardly be held responsible for your own manhole. But I'm still the same old fabulous Doug. Hey, remember the fabulous time we beat up those immigrants and drank fabulous beer? We were so ripped, we drove your Jeep through the PX window. It was fabulous. Oh, now listen to you. Yes, but last night you ordered a 47 Gewurzgaminer, and you say the word fabulous incessantly. I am fabulous. Divinely fabulous. But I can stop. Oh, really? Well, describe the colonel's uniform, please. Don't use the F word, okay? Uniform. It's a f f f f fab you're still a very sick man. See, my advice is to go home and conduct a monologue with your wife's vagina as ordered. Vagina, vagina. And if I don't? Well, then you'll be confined to the base psych ward till you go stark raving mad. Well? Well? Hello? Hey! Oh, Dr. Farden, I'm so glad you're here. I've heard all those terrible rumors. Someone said you were Jewish. Yes! And I hear you're being investigated by the GSA for taking kickbacks, huh? Not the $20,000 toilet seat again. You're not gonna stick me with that one. Bah! It's just a coincidence my brother sells plumbing supplies. I needed a soft cushion after my spanking. Yes, one with warm, soothing, penetrating aloe pores. No, no, Doctor. We're all just so worried about your current state of mind. Give me a doing. Let me ask you something. Does this turn you on? Huh? No, Miss Kumsky, but whatever has gotten into me, 
is a passing fancy. I'll soon be the same outrageously fabulous, bigoted Doug Farton again. Oh, Doctor, I do hope so. No one could so aggressively and flagrantly violate the Constitution like you. Except maybe Justice Scalia. Just don't tell anyone I'm going to the ballet tonight. Okay, but stay out of my drawers. Williams. Don't tell. Tchaikovsky's 1812 Overture, Da Vinci's Drawings of the Human Flying Machine, J. Edgar Hoover's Memoir. Jeez, Rumsfeld, did a cow crap in here? Is it safe? Just a minute, Doctor. Yes, this is General MacArthur. Yes, I'm fading away. Yes, sir. Dora Jar. That's a code red. Thank you for calling. Hey, Mac. Hi, Doctor. Are you still in any secrets from the vault? We have a code red. Yes, and I have a sudden urge to take them to Sodom Flats. Oh, that sounds like the work of Bin Laden or Dr. Farton. Gosh, get me breaks at the lap dancing club. Good luck with the old secret documents in Sodom Flats.
How you doing there, Dr. Bruegel? Yes. My name's Priggs. I'm from FBI. Priggs? Priggs? Didn't you frame out your hiss? <laughs> yeah, I did. I was just wondering, maybe we'd go back to your office together. It's not about the insider trading. Oh, no, no, no. We don't know anything about that. It was a few transactions. It's not about the nuclear secrets you sold the Israelis. Oh. It's a little bit more serious than that, but don't call a lawyer yet. Damn. Found out about the LSD I put in the residue. Everything seems to be in place. Oh, somebody spilled jelly on the top secret formula to turn water into gasoline. This here is mostly classified information, sir? No, uh, well, it's mostly takeout menus. Well, there's a few small chunks of President Kennedy's brain. We've got Ralph Nader's soul. And there's this blue dress. It's got something that might be egg white. I don't know what. Yeah, one. now, besides them 22 visiting Chinese scientists, who else had the keys to this vault? Only those 64 North Korean Vietnamese exchange students, then Dr. Farton. Dr. Farton? Dr. Farton? Wait a minute now, he was, he was in the building this afternoon, wasn't he? Oh my god, you're right. Yeah, I heard the overture from South Pacific playing in here before. If I am not mistaken, gentlemen, our Dr. Farton is involved in some very serious subterfuge. Oh, I'm stealing menus really now. What if... What if he wanted to order sushi? Or yakisobi, or those tasty dragon rolls. What if he wanted to work out issues with his father? Hmm. Hell no, boys. Our Dr. Farton has stolen something from this here top secret vault. Oh, well, if that is true, we better find out what it is. Maybe the wife he knows. I bet she is involved. If that strump it was, why should make her the Mata Hari buying this whole shenanigans that wouldn't it? That's some good thinking, boys. I better have a go look up a dress. Hmm. Let me see now. What do you think this here is? What is this here? What is it? Honey, what taste is it? I don't taste it. Man, what am I going to taste it for? What if it's poopy? If it smells like poopy, you'll know it. Well, if I grow my own poopy. <laughs> yeah, that's poopy, all right. That's Dr. Farton's poopy. Well, well, Mrs. Farton, you have a very charming house here. Quite a few expensive antiques. What are you getting at, Mr. Priggs? Well, Mrs. Farton, could they be guests from the gay lobby, perhaps? Why, no, but the tobacco lobby gave Doug a million dollars once. Now, what do you think your husband could have stolen from that there top secret vault, huh? I know he was interested in huh? those uncounted gore boats from Duval County. No, they're right where Jeb left them. Let's face it, Mrs. Farton, your husband is in very serious trouble. I'll do anything to help Very him. serious. <laughs> now, I was hoping you'd go say that. Well, I hate to ask this, but have you ever had anybody, anybody eat blueberry pancakes off your butt? With syrup on top of them? Certainly not. Well, I'd like to sign up first. Let me think about that. Now, if you if you let me eat pancakes off your butt, mm, I promise I won't arrest your husband. I won't deprive him of due process like I did to Winho Lee. Mm, and Al Gore. By the way, you got any butter? Sorry, but I think that would be too much to ask. Well, that's your loss there, Chippy. It? Has your husband made any new friends lately? You know, not one's in usual circle. No, the only perverts we've seen this month are... Mm, the heterosexual kind like you. Excuse me. Hello? Yes, just a moment. It's for you, Mr. Pricks. How about waffles? Calling all units in Sector 7, the FBI has issued an all-points bulletin for Dr. Doug Farton. Suspect is a Caucasian male, 6 feet 2 inches, 185 pounds, with 9 inches of throbbing manhood. He was last seen driving like Princess Di's chauffeur and should be considered armed, dangerous, and extremely gay. Attention all units of the Fraternal Order. Attention all units of the Fraternal Order. This is Chief Mussolino. <laughs> Ignore the previous bullshit bulletin. That's what it was, bulletin. <laughs> Do not repeat. Do not stop farting. We just donated twenty thousand dollars for the sweetest furniture to Hillary Rodham Clinton. I think we're gonna get her husband to pardon him. <laughs> now I tell you what, you get back to Huntsville, we're gonna fire up old Betsy and fry some retards. How about that? Okay? Woohoo! Right? <laughs> great, great. That ought to buy us some time. There, son. Dr. Farton, what are you doing here? Huh. 
Any special reason why I shouldn't arrest you right now? Oh, by the way, this small rectangular box around my eyes, that's all you're gonna see for now. Take that, you big bully man. What is happening to me? Homo urges getting stronger, must resist. Must resist. Must get gas. Goober, I committed treason. Where's the phone? There's my bed over yonder. What's wrong with me? Must turn myself in before it's too late. Operator, this is Doug Fartan. Give me the MPs. Oh, hey, it's you again. <laughs> I'm thinking about a gas station attendant, and I have a boner right out of gravity's rainbow. Make it go away. We interrupt our regularly scheduled program for this special bulletin. Be on the lookout for Dr. Doug Fartan. It's Fartan. Fartan, how many times do I have to tell you that? The suspect is a Caucasian male with an eight-inch red-headed champion driving a two-tone stew to Baker. Try rubbing it with your hand really hard until the MPs arrive. I repeat, the suspect is a Caucasian male, 185 pounds with a six-inch pulsing pike staff. I repeat, the suspect is packing a five-inch snub nose in his trousers. Now, the first caller to name this song from these two notes will win a thousand shares of eboy.com. It's Brandy by Looking Glass. Out of my way. Now you leave, I'm taking that prize money. Brandy by looking glass. Using the classified Gadar spy satellite and cutting edge Bulgarian vacuum tube technology, the FBI locates Farton's car. Calling all cars. Code red. Come in, Priggs. Priggs! Central calling. What Wake up, Sam Priggs! Hill? Wake up! Get on Look your feet! Me. Priggs! Oh! Come in, Priggs! Get on this dust. Yeah. I get that. Oh, whoa! All right now. Hello, Central. Hello, Central. Hello, Central. This Priggs. This is Priggs. Come in, Central. Forget Dr. Farton, Priggs. The chief says you're to bring J. Edgar Hoover his black garter belt and miniskirt out to the inbred motel on Highway 61. Hoover's dead, you asshead hole. Do I look dead to you? Dr. Farton. Your heterosexual drive is quite remarkable. You must stop resisting. You must stop resisting. You're becoming gayer and gayer and gayer and gayer. Oh, they're here to make everyone gay. It's coming out of it. Gay Ray mumble or something. That looked How about somebody telling me what the hell he's babbling about? How about that? Don't touch Dr. me. Dr. Farden! Dr. Farden, you won't grab hold of yourself! Ding, dang it, not there! No, no, we have to stop hey, calm that! Calm down, Farden! Uh, 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 uh. Wow, what'd you give him? The label was torn. I think it's the drug they stopped that give you that gives you wood. Yeah, well, save a little bit for me, Doc. I'm gonna get the mic. I'll be right back. You can hear me, Dr. Farton? It's Farton. You gotta listen to me. I want you to tell me your favorite hobbies, okay? You can hear me, yes? Cruising for bikers. 
collecting village people action figures, log cabin Republican clam bakes, decorating with bold colors, shopping for zucchinis at the Provincetown market. But this guy's getting gayer and gayer. All right now, boy. What was it you was doing out there the other day there at Sodom Flats? Is that throwing a whiz? Delivering the manuscript. <laughs> delivering? You was delivering? <laughs> Where? Them there rocks at Sodom Flats? Yes. I was delivering it, just as I was ordered. Who ordered you to do this? Barney Frank? Give me more drugs and I'll tell you. I remember we were circling the cloud. And it looked marvelous. There was a fabulous object glowing beneath us at Sodom Flats. Suddenly, something hit us from behind. Ooh, the controls froze. We were out of control. We were flaming. Hells, yes, you flaming all right. We were plunging faster and faster and faster and faster. And Dr. Farm, would you please get to the story? Well, the next thing I knew, I was lying on a table, like at the party on Fire Island. I saw these strange boys. I thought they were Marty Feldman's children. I could hear something just fabulous, pulsating like a big, hot, throbbing thingy. And then one of them lowered it toward my chest. I thought it was a fruity California Chardonnay in a baggie. The bouquet was woodsy, yet sophisticated. And then they airbrushed my nipples. Oh. And then there was a really schlock rack focus effect with the camera, and I came too. Science and technology. You are What's happening? Why are you doing this to me? I never saw my primary care doctor. My HMO will never cover this operation. Step forward. Dr. Farton, I see you are quite gay now. You have recovered from your sex change operation. Who are you? A gay person, like yourself. I'm not gay. Where do you come from? From Uranus, an all-gay planet. You know my name, and we're designer originals. Yes. We prefer the soigné works of Kodo the Clown. You can't make me a homosexual. I'm getting out Stay of here. Stay where you are, you naughty boy. Stop it. Oh, it's making me have to piss like a racehorse. Oh. Where's my designer, Hanky? Oh. You'll never get away with this. We already have, Dr. Farton. How did you do it? An intergalactic bug zapper? It does more than zap bugs, I assure you. Why have you come to Earth? What do you want? We are the protectors of all homosexuals in the universe. This is Mission Impossible. It can't be! Since the beginning of time, we have roamed the galaxy, watching over gays, fighting homophobia and oppression wherever it raises its ugly head. Why? Why? Because we are the ones who make people gay. Make people gay? Yes. Our monitor is out there right now, looking for our next specimens. Say, nice ro <coughs> rod. Homosexuality? That's a licentious choice that human beings make. No. We choose who will be gay. These people are next. I thought Hillary was already gay. Almost. But we will soon put her out of her misery. As we will soon put all you Earthlings out of your misery. What do you mean? What I mean, my dear sweet Dr. Farden, is that this is something we should have done the last time we were on this homophobic planet. Last time? 
Yes. We've been here before. We came over 50 years ago when another tyrant threatened our people. Like you, his plan was monstrous. Then one day, when he was deflowering a virgin, our agents grabbed him. Nein, geschoten! Nein, geschoten! They took him to our spaceship, replaced his heart, and then got out the lubricating gel. At first he cried, but then he begged for more. It will all soon be revealed in a new History Channel series. What history? Hitler died in his bunker. No. We shaved him, cut his hair, and gave him a job as a lounge singer at our casino on the planet Rimi. Ring, 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 ring. Ring, 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 ring. Hello, Mom, it's me. I think I'm gay. How can it be? I do not know. Oh, no! said he's gay how can it be i do not know we raised him right he's good at school he plays football he acts so cool so the germans replaced hitler with an imposter yes but the new hitler was an idiot he attacked russia at that point we realized he would lose his war so we returned home Last month, we got word of your plan. We knew you wouldn't stop at just the military. Now we must make everyone gay. Everyone gay? This is outrageous. Over six billion homos. How will we procreate? We have no alternative. We have been putting our plan to work for some time. At the proper moment, when we have amassed enough energy, the giant gay beam will be sent out around the world. Nothing can stop us. I don't believe it. How do I know you're not just showing me an incredible illusion created by those Imagineers at Disney? Is this an illusion, Doctor? <laughs> ah! ooh, ooh. This is dumber than that Hitler story. Every moment, you will feel more and more gay. Do not try to resist. So, I ran like Jesse Jackson being chased by a paternity suit. Then, I thought I saw an exit, but soon realized it was just a mistake by the editor who must have been stoned or something. I ran deeper and deeper into the cave, but everywhere I turned, they were there. <laughs> and they looked absolutely fabulous in their black silk outfits and colorful sashes. You're standing in bat now, Dr. Farton. I felt like they were looking right through my soul. I wondered why and how their eyes could be so big. Was it the constant darkness they lived in, or some terrifying genetic mutation that happened millions of years ago? <laughs> then I discovered their terrible secret. I was about to give up hope when I felt a wind at my back. I'd found the opening to the cave. Then suddenly it happened. Their technology was light years beyond anything I'd ever imagined. Let me out! Let me out, I say! But it was no use. I was trapped, like a rat in a cage. I hadn't felt this low since Mookie hit that grounder through Buckner's legs. Then what happened? I thought for you go tell me what happened next to you! Give me another shot and I'll even tell you about Vince Foster. <laughs> You know what happened to pretty young boys behind prison walls, Dr. Farton. Welcome to the Disco Dungeon of Pleasure, where all your erotic fantasies can come true. This is horrible. You can't get away with this. Yes, we can. This movie is in the public domain, and I believe the satire falls under the protection of the First Amendment. Although after Florida, I do have some concern where Justice Kennedy will come down on the issue. No, I mean, you can't make every creature on Earth gay. Oh, that. Well, we altered this universal special chromosome transmutation transmitter that we stole from Microsoft, who stole it from Apple, who stole it from that copier company. It will do our dirty work quickly and cleanly. It will cause the same sex attraction <laughs> throughout the animal population. When the time comes, we'll unleash it. It also gets all the premium channels and 124 pay-per-view college football games. You'll never get away with it. We already have. Look over there. We 
are the men who make you gay. We monkey around with your DNA. It's scientific and very complex, but in the end you have same sex sex. If you're lucky and make our list, don't deny it, don't resist. We'll touch your heart, we'll zap your brain, we'll have you quoting old Mark Gray. Travel the universe near and far Stopping for lunch at the Stonewall Bar Are you prejudiced? Where it hurts And our desire to unleash a black silk shirt swing if you hung them. Ah, but I think you'll admit they dance pretty well for white people. Hmm. They don't look that wide. Wait a minute. All this equipment? These are our gay vibration storage units. To date, we have accumulated several billion gay rays. More rays than a Will and Grace party at Smith College. Several billion... Why, a chain reaction could release emotionally unstable isotopes and create a super gay. Impossible to control. True. He could wreak havoc on your cities, take over the world, even be Grand Marshal at the New York St. Patrick's Day Not Parade. Not if he's a Protestant, orange bastards. I assure you, Doctor, we have everything under our complete control. All right, what do you want from me? You will have unrestricted security clearance to the military's top secret storage facility at Felicio Alger Air Force Base. What about it? You will provide us with the bottom half of page 32 from the original manuscript to James Baldwin's Giovanni's room. I see. You must need something from that page to trigger your gay beam. Something Capote-esque. True, man. The secret formula to isothermically transmit electricity from your power plant to the gay ray. What makes you think I'll give you any information? Because as you get gayer and gayer, you'll want to read it yourself. You're asking me to sabotage the entire heterosexual world. 5.9 billion people. Actually, 3.2, but they are doomed in any case. Hmm. I guess there's no alternative. I'll have to become fabulously gay. My reticulating Peter meter tells me you're lying, Doctor. No. I know your thoughts. I see what you see. Wow, just like in Beastmaster 2. An excellent movie. But now you force me to resort to other methods. I will contact the Super Homo. Dr. Barton. Bartan. Hi, you ready to be stripped, collared, and leashed naked on all fours, just like Dick Morris? What? Who are you? I am the super homo. You will listen and obey. You're going to listen and obey. Listen and obey. No, I... You will listen to my orders. You will, you will. You will listen and obey. You will listen and obey. 
going to listen and obey. Listen and obey. Obtain page 32 from the original manuscript of Giovanni's room and bring it to the place where your plane was found at Sodom Flats. Sodom Flats. Sodom Flats. Sodom Flats. And that's what I did. I took the information to where they told me. I didn't realize I was being homophied. Why doesn't somebody say something? Don't you believe me? Flirt, you understand. I didn't ask to be gay. They made me gay. And I'm fabulous. You become one of them. Colonel, Colonel, you've got to stop the next bomb from going off. We must put an end to all this silly hatred. We can still save the world, to paraphrase Auden. The poet Auden? We must love each other or blow. If we show them we're tolerant people, I'm sure they'll give us a second chance. They're good aliens, just like E.T. Please, Doug, I haven't heard such horse pucky since... Well, like since the defense in the Simpson trial. You think I'm crazy, all of you. Well, I'm fabulous. I saw it with my own eyes. Now let me go. Ooh, ooh, that now hurts. give me stop a it. hand, stop doctor. It, stop it, stop steady, it. steady. Ooh, Giving you a transfusion of Bill Clinton's mojos. Gonna help you. Ooh. You're condemning the world. Rest, take it easy. Dream about any woman, but not your wife. Dr. Kravorkian, your patient is on the table. Dr. Lecter, your dinner is on the table. This guy's story is cockamamie. I imagine making everyone gay. What a hoot. Well, he seems to be in the priapic state. I've never seen wood like that, never. Uh, let me see, priapic, priapic. I think it makes you grow hair. <laughs> oh, let me see. Oh my God, it makes you grow wood. Oh, I think I better tell his wife. I wonder if she has any plans for dinner. Ira, what do you think about Doug's hallucinations about alien gay people? Those hey. weren't hallucinations, Colonel. Under the influence of the anthrax vaccine, a patient loses all control of his imagination and his bladder. You think there's a modicum of verisimilitude in what he's saying? Oi. Major, we're going to have to change your sheets about every half hour or so, ain't we? All right, gentlemen. All I can do is give you the facts. Milk is high in fat. Tomatoes reduces your risk of cancer. If you eat blintz, it's 97% chance you're Jewish. Excuse me. What you doing out here at Sodom Flats, huh, sir? Let me ask you that. Um, Let me ask you that. Well, I was, um... i tell you what. Looks like you in cahoots with Barney Frank now, too. In 1992, an alien ship landed 23 miles oh, yeah. northwest of here. Oh, is that so? Somewhere near Seattle, we think. We think huh. they were from the... Well, why'd they come here for? They were from the Starbuckian well. galaxy. They... Well, why would they come here? Well, they had a java beam and makes you pay two fifty and stand in line twenty minutes for a cup of coffee. Creating all them terrible caffeine junkies. Cigarette? Oh, how you there, Mrs. Farton? How is he, Doctor? Oh, he's picking out curtains, unfortunately. He'll be fine. Doctor Farton. Doctor Farton! Help us time is running out. You must find a power source. Powerful enough to beam the gay beam. <laughs> Dr. Farin! Find a way. Find a way. Dr. Farin! Find a way. Find the focus! So you want to show me oh, undies again? Hey. Just one more. Oh, oh. Move! Oh, boy, get the guy. Oh, 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 oh,
Don't stop talking like that. I don't like talking like that. Oh, my God, look at this, Miss Sugar. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I don't know what came over me. I've, uh, I've got to stop get the insanity. Get a hold insanity. of yourself. I know a nice little cult up in the Hamptons are going to help you get some help. Yes, yes, I've heard of that cult. The young Republicans? Looking about that car, my cousin's an insurance agent. Now you get back in bed. We got morphine and jellos on the way. I will the Akasha Kanish. I gotta figure something out before it's too late. I'll need a high powered computer with internet access to Los Alamos. You get a crayon and like it. Oh, hello. Can I get Dr. Bruegel, please? I am sorry I'm not feeling well. Oh, Major, how's the princess? Oh, I'll be by to hit on his wife soon. Doug. Doug. The way he treats me, you'd think I look like Gertrude Stein. Doug. Look, a superfluous shot of my thong. No, oh, nothing works. Reservations. That's so romantic. The Major said it's all right for me to see other men now that Doug's gay. Hmm. Does he suspect anything? Wonder what's eating that guy. <sighs> Formulas, equations. He keeps talking about creating an energy continuum to ignite some gay bomb. What an ass. Well, a gay bomb, huh? That doesn't sound too good. Doug? Flirt's here. Hi there, Doug. Just a second. I'm almost finished. You don't know how true that is. Flirt, let's face it. I know you all think there's something wrong with me. <laughs> oh, of course not. I still feel kind of funny with my hand on your knee. Well, I don't like you anyway, and that's not my knee. <laughs> well, frankly, first you tell us it's bad to be gay. Then all of a sudden you tell Major it's okay. You just have to think about it. You'd understand how foolish we've all been. We're not going to win any more wars in the trenches. No, those days are long gone. We're going to win them with our technology and our intelligence. Look at these IQ test scores. Gay people understand calculus. Let me see that. I had to estimate the convergence rates of transvestites. If these figures are correct, homosexuals pull up the median score of the human race 30%. This can't include Tinky Winky, right? If my calculations are correct, if we cut the electricity at the power plant, 34 zillion gigaboys of energy will be absorbed. That'll put lead in your pencil. Oh my god, you're serious! They're down there under Sodom Flats, and they're planning on making the whole world gay, and you're gonna help them, aren't you? Aren't you? If I don't, you're gonna continue with Operation Manhole. You tell me which is friggin' worse. Gosh darn it, Flirt. Please help me end the insanity. Doug, I don't want to be a muff muncher. Doug, you can't go, all the plants will die. Where's my falsetto suit? Doug, the dinky slot in your pajamas is wide open. Here's my Studebaker's, 1953, it's all styly. And they're out of the clutch. You gotta call the main gate, tell them to stop farting! Is this gonna screw up our dinner plans? He did what? The gay bomb? Send John Ashcroft. What's wrong, Colonel? Dr. Farton, he's on his way to the powerhouse. He's going to make everyone queer. Let's go. He looked fabulous, and I invited him to my apartment. Hey, you know what, Colonel? It's just like the end of Independence Day. Future of the world rests in our macho hands. <laughs> For crying out loud, Briggs, we're driving a 56 Woody. It's more like the end of Mr. Hobbs Takes a Vacation.
The yellow zone is for illegal dumping of toxic waste only. Repeat, illegal dumping of toxic waste only. Also, we urge you to refrain from ethnic profiling on the job. Hey, this is an no pajama zone. Stop running like a girl. We interrupt this program for a special news bulletin. This is a KIN special report, and I am Tom Trulock from the inbred nuclear power plant where the future of the world now hangs precariously teetering on the brink of extinction because of one lone terrorist managing to infiltrate this high security facility in his pajamas. How he got in, no one knows. But one thing's for sure, this plant is on the highest state of alert. I am declaring DEFCON like 13 or so. Ollie, the man in pajamas is loose in the plant. Gordon, I think you have to back again. And now we take you down to ringside where my cousin Tim gets all the action, play by play, or should I say, blow by blow. Ladies and gentlemen, Doug Barton on an impossible mission, or dare I even say, mission impossible, this is maddening. I have never in my life beheld such a cornucopia of hyperkinetic activity. He's out of the room, he is in the room, he's out of the room, he's in the room. He's gonna go all the way. Holy cow, I think he's gonna make it. Here, I smell his B.O. Over there, Ellen's picked up his scent. Tim, we just received some incredible, yet legal footage from the NRC security camera taken moments ago. Agents Ollie North and G. Gordon Liddy, both patriots, came within the wrong inches of capturing Dr. Barton when he suddenly eluded their dragnet with some quick thinking and ninja-like moves. So he can't just disappear. He must be the greatest spy in the whole world. This man has got Mensa written all over him. Excuse me, where's the audition for them Sopranos? La Viusta Giorni. Take that! Down goes Liddy! Down yeah. goes Liddy! What a sorry display I, I of physical... I know physical. you got your Let me tell you something. You're no... Oh, you have... There's a massacre down here! A sound drumming! I have not seen a fight like this since Lewis beat Shelley! And shit's gone! I don't hear that fat lady singing yet. Yes, Doug Barton might be stealthily making his way through the sophisticated techno maze of digital ducts and high-speed pipes, but skilled FBI commandos disguised as nuclear engineers are hot on his trail. Oh, my God. He's going down. Oh, you're going to go down, too? Hey, wait, look. These stairs go up. Moments ago, by our exclusive KIN TV power plant spy cam, show FBI agent Briggs has a highly secret plan to stop Dr. Barton. For all the details on this plan and the recipe for your own Scud missile, visit our website, KINTV.com. Oh, my friend, cool pajamas. Stop with the pajamas. What do these switches do? I don't know. I study at Chernobyl. I smell donuts. Until last week, I was marketing director of .com, a company that auctioned koala bear meat on the internet. Koala.com? I had a thousand shares of that loser when it went belly up. Was Brabia? Get the phone. They tell me never answer that phone. Hello, control room. Hi, Gorby. Yeah. Sure. This is for the bear pigs. Swine? <laughs> Cut the power and stop this madness. <laughs> I've got the gun back. I fix. Go to cutaway. Go on, cut it. <laughs> and the next one. That one turns off my wife's vibrator. Do as I say. Hey, free beer! Stay where you are. Put down the gun, Farton. I'm warning you. Mispronounce my name again, 
and I'll blow his Johnson off. Now the next one. What's that do? Oh, that one there kills the camera. Do as I say. No, 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 not that one. I said cut it. Get back. Go on, get back. Get back or I'll kill him. Oh, very well. Give me ten seconds after I cut the power. If I'm insane, you can condemn the world to another millennium of fear and prejudice. Now, one, two, three, Hey, look, hors d'oeuvres. Oh, no, look at the gay beam. Fabulous. Wow, suddenly I'm feeling really straight. Pigs, did you just goose me? Oh, yes, I did. The bomb reversed our sexual polarity. I could sure munch in a month right about now. Well, so could I. Oh, fish chicken! What's well, as you can see now, the straight people, they're gay, the gay people, they're straight, there's the trans testicles that are in between, like, I don't know, one week there's this, the other week there's that. Uh, you got Viola marrying Orsino, and Sebastian is marrying Olivia, and then of course you have uh, Hamlet, uh, Ophelia, Rosecrans, and Gildenstern, they're all dead. <laughs> what an ending. What an ending indeed. Well, for refried flicks, I am Sebastian Sigmund von Hohenstaufenstein and Ubenhausen. Uh, saying that there will be for today's film, no refunds. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's all there is. There's no refund at all. Uh, uh, Cash has left the building, and you can follow, okay? Like lemmings, go. Hasta la vista, baby, okay? <laughs> Adios, ciao, aloha, shalom. Go! Sorry. What do you think? What's sticking out? Is there something sticking out? Ah, uh, attention. Damn. swearing vengeance on his brother Edmund, or it might be Edmund is swearing vengeance on Edgar first. I don't know which one it is. It's one of the Winter Brothers, whichever one wrote Frankenstein. Okay, honey, bend over. It's not gonna hurt a bit, I swear to you. Very gentle. All right. Get you're all lazy. You're a generation of slackers. That is what you are. Yes, and I hear that you're taking kickbacks from the GSA. You're being investigated, huh? No, fuck it. Oh, sorry. Absolutely, for today, no refry. No, for that. Fuck it, do it again. Yes, and I hear you're being investigated by the GIA for taking... Fuck me. Major problemo. The result of Dr. Barton's drug test? I'm cramming for my drug test. Get out of the theater! Change the world! <laughs> <laughs>